this video. I'm Omar and today I will show you how you can forecast data in Microsoft Excel. I will show you two functions, the forecast linear and forecast ETS, and I will also show you the forecast sheet. Let's see how we can do that. So what is forecasting? It's predicting the future data based on the pattern of the historical data. So you depend on data collected before to build on it and predict the data that will be produced after with some degree of confidence. Of course, sometimes there will be errors, but you will put a margin for your upper and lower percentage of confidence in this prediction. First of all, I have this table showing the number of customers in each period. So I have the data from period 1 to period 10 which is the current period, and I want to forecast the data for the upcoming periods 11, 12, and 13. So first of all, my data here is linear data, so I will make a linear forecast. So how to do that? I will go into this row, and I will type equal forecast linear. First, I will choose X. X is the axis in which the time will be plotted on, so the column A, and the X that I am forecasting is 11, period number 11. Then the known Y axis, the known Y S, is the data on the Y axis, which are the customer's data. I will select this, and I will press F4 to fix this data because this data is, will be used for period 11, period 12, and period 13. Then the known XS is the periods from 1 to 10, and I will also press F4 to fix this data. And I will press Enter. So in period 11, the forecasted number of customers is around 104 customers. Then I will extend this to periods 12 and 13, and I will have these data. Now I want to plot this data in a graph. So how to do that? First of all, a simple trick. You will copy the last historical data from the customer's column to the forecast column, which is 89 here. Then you will select all the data You'll go into insert and you will insert the scatter with straight lines and markers. And as you see here, the blue line is the historical data and the orange line is the forecasted data. And of course, you can change the series name, you can put chart title and everything. Now, the Forecasting based on seasonality. Seasonality is the pattern that the data is following in a certain number of periods. So, for example, to draw the seasonality, you can type equals forecast.ets.seasonality. The values, you can select these values. Then, timeline, you will select this timeline. The other uh, arguments are not necessary. You will press enter, so the seasonality is 4, which means each 4 periods form one season or one pattern. And now I want to forecast the data for periods 13 and above. I will type equals forecast and I will choose forecast.ets. This returns the forecasted value for a specific future target data using exponential smoothing method. Target date is period 13. Values are those ones. I will press F4. Timeline is from 1 to 12. And I will press F4. Seasonality, I can put 1 which means seasonality is included, or zero, which means seasonality is not included. Same for data completion and aggregation, but they are not necessary to select. So here I have 
this forecasted data for period 13 I will extend it for the other periods so here you can see the data the same thing in order to plot the graph I will put the last historical data and the forecasted data here is 49 I'll select the data and from here I will draw the graph and as you can see each four points form a season and the orange one here forms the last season which is containing the four last periods now what if I want to do that in a different way I can do that I can select the data and I have a feature called forecast sheet I can go to data under forecast there is forecast sheet I will press on this sheet and first of all I will select the forecast to end at period 16 then I have options here I will select them and in the options I will select the forecast to start at period 12 the confidence interval by default it is 95 percent so I will keep it like that seasonality detect automatically or you can set manually it's the same the timeline range is from A2 to A13 forecast sheet is B2 to B13 fill missing points using interpolation and aggregate is average I will keep them as default you can have them as a line graph or as columns here so I will keep the line graph and I will press create and as you can see the table is updated automatically and the graph is drawn let me make it a bit smaller and drag it here so as you can see now I have two additional columns first is the forecasted column the second column here is the lower confidence bound and the third is the upper confidence bound and I have three lines here the forecast is the middle one lower confidence bound is the lowest one and higher confidence bound is the highest one so those bounds are the boundaries in which the forecast will move between which means that this is the expected minimum and maximum for the forecast in the worst or best cases and as you can see here always in the lower confidence the number is less than the forecast and in the upper confidence the number is higher than the forecast so with this forecast sheet you can do the forecasting for your data based on the historical data in an efficient way but also it can show you the upper and lower boundaries i hope this video was helpful for you to let you forecast your future data by benefiting from the historical data that you have if you found this video helpful subscribe to my channel and like and share this video with your friends